Hey YouTube, Workability for back today with a new state of the Lego room for October 2019. So as you can see, I've actually made some changes over here with my shelving area. As you can see, the Quickie Mart is now in my city. And uh, over here in the corner, I have all my Lego tiles sorted. And I've got an organizing cabinet besides it. And this is where all my Lego friends sets used to be. So I put most of the friends set away and put a few over here. And a few city sets and just some random minifigs. And down below we have just a bundle of airplanes. And over there we just have some random stuff. A few sets that I've actually found the pieces for but haven't built yet. And a box, that box over there with actually brand new Lego that I need to source. And yeah, the top shelf over here, I actually made some changes to it. I added in two new sets and redid the positioning of the Lego minifigures. But that was really everything that I did over here. So let's move to what's on my desk. So as you can see over here, I have two more organizing cabinets in the window still here. All my Lego train controllers, some minifigures, and of course the city fire station for my Lego layout. I finally got around to starting off on it and I actually made an entire list of bricks I need to order to finish the entire building because this took all the pieces I had in the correct size and color to build. So I need to order pieces to finish off the rest. So I hope I'll get around to doing that sometime. I'm not really in a rush because, but yeah. I'm probably going to do a more in-depth video on that sometime when it's finished. I haven't really decided when I will, will do it. And over here, just tilting the camera a bit, you can see all the creative cars of Havilland set and actually the picture frame. The thing that was kind of holding it still broke. So I just did it very simple and just built a frame with lego around it and put the picture frame inside it so and over here you can see an old picture of me and a few sets just some random sets for display and such down here you can see my ipad in the back and some books and just some minifigs and such And over here, we have the Big Ben and a new addition to my collection, the Southwith Camel airplane. So, yeah, so at least I kind of broke the tripod today, so it's kind of <laughs> wonky. But yeah, new plane and Big Ben, but that's really everything that's changed there. But over in the couch area actually changed quite a lot. Of course, I got Lego in the window still. And the couch is the same as usual. But I took away all the Lego I had down there. Just because it was really gathering up all the dust. And I was, it was just in the way eventually. So I decided to take it all out. And up there we have the Taj Mahal. So, and when we come back around here to the above the city, I finally got up the shelves I was talking about. I've been waiting quite a while for that. So you can see up on the top shelf, kind of hard to see, but I can't get the camera up any higher. At least not. So up here, you can see the Lego movie sets. And down here, this is kind of my Disney shelf. I got 
the car from Cars. And yeah, it's like me McQueen. I I know that. I don't know why I didn't say it. And Steamboat Willie. And I haven't really decided what I'm going to put over there. But there will probably be something soon. And yeah, I don't know if I showed this before. But it's a Lego City puzzle from 2005. And that was the entire Lego room. You can kind of see my tripod. I actually built this just now to put the phone in because I, I finally got my new phone, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm kind of shocked of how good the camera is compared to my, even compared to my iPhone X. But yeah. I think I'm just going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. Brick Bullet Default out.